What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? It's me, Rob, from RGD Entertainment, and I'm back with a brand new reaction video. Then in this reaction video, we are going to be once again reacting out of some Golden Girls funny moments. Because, like I said, on Friday's reaction video, um, I'm going to do three reaction videos in a row. Last Friday, from out of day, then on Wednesday, because this Thursday, I'm going out of Manhattan to out of the new Golden Girls the Kitchen uh, restaurant, uh, which is only available until March. So if you're a big fan of the show, and 10 of you are a big fan of these videos that I'm doing. If you want to see me there, uh, make your reservations for this Thursday afternoon. Because that's when I'll be there. Because I would love to see at least like some fans somewhere where I go. And you guys can say how much you love my videos. Then, hey, we might be sitting in different sections of the restaurant, but we can both enjoy the experience of the Golden Girls restaurant. But without any further ado, let's get into the reaction video. Make sure you like uh, the video. Obviously, there's a pop-up. Go away. Let's get into it. Okay, maybe not. We there we go. Pass a horse Whoa! Really saying, Can I show you something in an Oxford? <laughs> oh, and then he'd laugh, and I'd laugh. Sometimes even the horse would laugh. I mean, I was the one who thought up big squeaky toys for cows. By the time I got to high school, what? the kids had made up this really mean nickname for me just because I had hairy legs. What name? What'd they call you? Rose with the hairy legs. <laughs> You That's can up. call me Enrique. <laughs> no, I don't I think... think I can. <laughs> I better talk to Nurse Defarge. I think I could handle it with a little more tact. It's so loud. Oh, good morning, ladies. Not for you, nursey, nurse, nurse, nurse. <laughs> Someone was actually able to deceive me once. No. <laughs> Do tell, Rose. <laughs> St. Olaf's most famous OBMAG. What? What's that? Obstetrician magician. Where did you live, Rose? The amazing Shapiro. He delivered Bridget. But it was so confusing. It's a girl. Now it's a dove. What? Now it's a glass of milk. I don't know how he got her in that deck of cards. What? And there she was, right after the King of Hearts. Is this your baby? Ooh. Big All help. Our children were conceived on special St. Olaf holidays. Adam was conceived on the day of the Princess Pig when they had the pig crowning. And Janella was conceived on Hay Day. That's the day we St. Olafians celebrate hay. <laughs> What? Rose, do you think you could wrap this up before Rebecca, Rebecca goes into labor? Then there was the day of the wheat when everybody came to town dressed as sandwiches. <laughs> Charlie and I forgot to put cheese between us, and before I knew it, there, there was, was Kirsten. Kirsten. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I was just having a conversation with, with two people over there. Oh my there, God, I remember how dumb she sounded. Speculating on if you could have any two people in the world, living or dead, to your house for dinner what would you eat you don't realize how much you care for a man until you see him streaking toward the earth trying to grab a bird <laughs> i've gotten your rose to it my mother named me violet we, we were the king and queen of the rumba <laughs> Olé. <laughs> and agnes said you were a lot of hot air and you said she was just jealous because she wasn't getting, getting any, any. <laughs> Getting, 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 getting what? And you, you said, said rice pudding, Rose? <laughs> Why are you giggling, Rose? 
knows it's not that funny. <laughs> I know. I think I better keep the lid on this paint thinner. <laughs> no, no, it's called Gnurkenflitten cake. It's called Flugenachen. What? Huh? I'm sorry, it's called Flugenachen. It's Scandinavian for someone who ducks his boat in a handicapped slip. Ah! Thank you. Let me you. be your <laughs> be my beaten flugen. Flugen. Yes, but I'm not one to blow my own oh, beaten flugen. Please add and the one. Damn you. Knock him. <laughs> what? Well, what exactly does that mean? Literally, it's the precise moment when dog dude turns white. <laughs> <laughs> but in general, it refers to the kind of person you don't want to share your hooten goggles with. Your what? Rose, if you say one more of those stupid words, oh, so help me out, you two and burbles. <laughs> sure, I didn't flop around on the floor with my eyes bulging out gasping for air. I haven't done that at a party in years. Please forgive me. It wasn't my fault. My cousins have been marrying each other for generations. I'm sorry. Get out of here. He had a theory. Even a trip to the bank can be exciting if you wear a ski mask. He would say that often? Almost as often as he'd say, don't shoot, it's me, Charlie Nyland. Whenever a new family had moved into St. Olaf, we'd all hop on the tractor and ride out to the new neighbor's farm. Sounds Forty normal. Forty of us carrying vats of smoked fish and big pitchers of freshly squeezed potato juice. While cousin Dak played Sorry. getting to know you through the hole in his windpipe. <laughs> Tell me, Rose, did you ever accompany him through the hole in your head? You know what he has under that trench coat? A wrench? Oh. That's what Mother called it. You know what's also a shame? What? When you sit down and your thighs squish out to twice their size, that's a shame. Yeah, it is. Maybe it's because of the horrible St. Olaf falling leaf story. Rose. Rose, if this is a story about a man, man named Leaf, Leaf, I don't, don't want to hear, hear it. it. It's not that long. No. No. It has a surprise ending. All right, Rose, just the ending, but keep it short. short. Flat. Flat. I've ah. been to one surprise party in my life, but I'll never forget it. It was for Grandma Nyland's 100th birthday. Oh, 100! from a whaling village in the old country, so we kind of made that the theme of the party. We all dressed as Vikings with helmets and spears. Wait, 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 wait. Rose, you just said you were celebrating your grandmother or great grandmother's birthday then like the, I don't know she'd wailing when she was younger and you wanted to make that a theme and a surprise party does anyone hear the wrong in this you're gonna give someone who's a hundred years old a surprise party Wait, did I hear that? Or did I hear that right? Oops. Did I hear that right? I'll never forget it. It was for Grandma Nyland's 100th birthday. Oh, Grandma Nyland. She was from a whaling village in the old country, so we kind of made that the theme of the party. Whaling village, all really? Vikings with helmets and spears. And we all crowded into her little room up over the barn. Oh, dear God. And she walked in, lit a candle, and we all surprised. And she dropped dead right there. <laughs> It's all because of my what? school history teacher, Mr. Stickelmeyer. He's a Nazi. Oh, come on. Oh, come. come on, Rose, stop it. Students don't like their teachers. But no, you don't... I mean it. He was really he was a Nazi. He a nefarious plot by the Germans to teach misinformation so America's youth would be really stupid when the Germans invaded. <laughs> St. Olaf was the first town chosen for their experiment. I'm not surprised. I figured they had a leg up there. Came right from the top. 
You mean Hitler? Hitler? Who's Hitler? Who? <laughs> Girls who take their money. Do you know what he thinks we are? Wait, Which is this? <laughs> Wait a minute. Have you and Miles been baking, baking together? together? <laughs> Jesus. I will never do that to you, I swear. Good. Because if I ever caught Miles with another woman in my kitchen, I... <laughs> It's not that easy to make new friends. It sure wasn't for the first Eskimo family that moved to St. Olaf. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Rose. Especially after they saw the hole and went salmon fishing in the middle of the local ice skating rink. <laughs> and then there was the Halloween they gave all the kids whale blubber. <laughs> Just what a kid needs on Halloween. The they borrowed every ice tray in town to build an addition over their garage. <laughs> what was the point, Rose? I guess after the baby came, they needed more room. <laughs> Story. Yes! Gradually, they were able to make friends, and they ended up the most popular family in town. But only because they went out and met people. Isn't that right, Rose? No, no during the drought. because in the drought of 49, our the house, house melted and kept the town from dehydrating. Can I say that's a win? The only crime in St. Olaf was that more people didn't practice better oral hygiene. <laughs> Ew. They just sat around the jailhouse and took pictures of each other behind the bars in goofy poses. <laughs> I don't know whether to paint old silver, the horse who brought the news to St. Olaf that the British had no intention of coming, <laughs> or old Brisker, the horse who, because of a printing error on the ballot slips, was elected water commissioner for six months. <laughs> It's like that old what? Scandinavian saying, you can let two angry mackerel fight it out in a purse, but don't ever plan on carrying that purse to a formal affair. I don't know. Well, it loses a little in the trans translation. Translation. Rose, do you have any idea how weird you are? <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, that is what I saw. Wow. Rose's life is, uh, oh boy. Um, I don't want to say eccentric because if I do say eccentric, I'm blowing smoke up everyone's ass. Um. Oh dear Lord. Um. How do you describe Rose's life in Saint Olaf? Um. I can't think of a damn thing. But if anyone else um has any ideas. Please let me know down below in the comment section. Jesus Christ. Um, the word she uses, the language is also a little, is a little sus. So please give me, please let me know what you think about that down below because I am just dumbfounded at this point. But Betty White, she played this role so freaking good. Like... He, you might a actually think that Betty White was really that this big of a moron um, in real life, but uh, she was actually smart. I'm not saying like Einstein or Stephen Hawking smart, but uh, she did show that she had brains, um, unlike Rose Nyland. Then... Uh, for someone to play like a naive farm girl, so good. She did. She if she didn't, if there was like a an award for like best acting, 
best best acting on the planet, uh, she would win. She would freaking win. I, I swear to God, she played Rose Island so damn good that um, also, um, I wouldn't be surprised if like while they were while they were rehearsing, um, Betty White could not help but laugh at saying all these like Saint Olaf words or mannerisms. Then she is portrayed as Scandinavian, but doesn't have an accent. So, you gotta say that all the words that Rose had said over the years were not in this Scandinavian language. Um, and if they were, um, I don't know what the hell I would do with that. No idea, but um, I hope everyone enjoyed this this reaction because this one was uh, whew, uh, uh, this was one for the ages. I'm just gonna point that out right now. Um, like it? Let me know anything about Rose <laughs> that you think I did not say or couldn't think of. Then hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Then also make sure your notification settings are set on all so you get every single video when it goes up. This is Rob from RGD Entertainment signing off. So for now, as I hope that everyone enjoys their day, they stay safe, and I'll see you. Ah, you guys in the next one.